The power went out. Rain lashed against the windows. I was ten years old, alone in the house. Every creak and groan sounded like footsteps. Shadows danced in the flickering candlelight. My heart pounded in my chest. Fear is primal. It's a survival instinct honed over millennia. Whether it's the rustle in the bushes or the creaking floorboard, our minds are wired to react to potential threats. We are programmed to imagine the worst, to anticipate danger. This instinct kept our ancestors alive. It helped them avoid predators and navigate a dangerous world. But in our modern lives, these primal fears often manifest in less tangible ways. We fear the unknown, the future, the things we cannot control. These anxieties, while less immediate, can be just as debilitating. They can paralyze us, prevent us from taking risks, and keep us from living our lives to the fullest. But understanding the nature of fear, its roots and its triggers, can help us take back control. Fear is more than just a feeling. It's a complex physiological response. When we sense danger, our bodies flood with adrenaline. Our heart rate increases, our senses sharpen and our muscles tense, preparing us for fight or flight. This response is automatic. It happens before we even have time to think. It's the body's way of protecting us, giving us the best chance of survival in a dangerous situation. But this response can be triggered even when there's no real threat. A scary movie, a sudden noise, or even a stressful thought can activate the same physiological cascade. This is why we can feel fear even when we know we're safe. Understanding the science of fear helps us recognize these false alarms. It allows us to separate the real threats from the imagined ones. This knowledge is the first step towards mastering our fears and regaining control. What scares us is not always universal. Cultures around the world have their own unique fears and phobias. These fears are often rooted in folklore, mythology, and shared cultural experiences. In some cultures, fear of the supernatural is prevalent. Stories of ghosts, demons, and monsters are passed down through generations. These tales serve as cautionary warnings, reinforcing societal norms and beliefs. Other cultures emphasize different fears. Fear of social ostracism, fear of failure, or fear of the unknown can be just as potent as fear of the supernatural. These fears reflect the values and anxieties of a particular society. Exploring these diverse fears offers a fascinating glimpse into the human psyche. It reveals how our fears are shaped by the stories we tell, the beliefs we hold, and the societies we live in. Fear can be paralyzing. It can hold us back from pursuing our dreams, taking risks, and living our lives to the fullest. But confronting our fears, however daunting, can be incredibly liberating. The first step is acknowledging our fears. We often try to bury them, pretend they don't exist. But facing them head on, admitting our vulnerabilities, is crucial for overcoming them. Next, we need to understand our fears. What triggers them? Are they rooted in past experiences? By analyzing our fears, we can begin to dismantle their power. Finally, we need to challenge our fears. This doesn't mean recklessly throwing ourselves into dangerous situations. It means taking small, calculated steps outside our comfort zone. Each step we take, each fear we overcome, makes us stronger and more resilient. We pay to be scared. We flock to horror movies, haunted houses and thrill rides. We crave the adrenaline rush, the thrill of fear without the real world consequences. Why do we enjoy being scared? One theory is that it allows us to confront our fears in a safe environment. We can experience the physiological response of fear, the pounding heart and racing pulse, without actual danger. Another theory suggests that fear provides a sense of excitement and novelty. It breaks us out of our routine, offering a temporary escape from the mundane. Whatever the reason, fear as entertainment is a multi-billion dollar industry. It speaks to our fascination with the unknown, our desire to test our limits, and our paradoxical enjoyment of being scared. Fear is a powerful emotion. It can control our thoughts, our actions, and our lives. But understanding fear, its origins, and its mechanisms is the key to mastering it. We need to recognize that fear is often irrational. Our minds conjure up worst-case scenarios, amplifying threats and exaggerating risks. 
Recognizing these cognitive distortions can help us rationalize our fears. We also need to develop coping mechanisms. Breathing exercises, mindfulness techniques, and positive self-talk can help us manage the physiological response of fear and regain control. Mastering our fears is not about eliminating fear altogether. Fear, after all, is a vital survival instinct. It's about managing fear, preventing it from controlling our lives, and using it as a catalyst for growth and resilience.